Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do something uh, quite different. Um, I recently got involved in modeling for games and uh, in a gaming engine there are a lot of requirements related to rendering capacity, right? Now, typically if you model an object in uh, Maya um, and you apply 2D texture files to it, you would want to simplify that in order to be able to import that asset into a game engine, okay? So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a simple object, we're going to apply some 2D texture files to it, and then we're going to transfer the entire texture uh, images, if you will, to a duplicate object uh, without uh, having a further need for the original 2D files. It sounds a bit complicated, but I'll just uh, show you, all right? So we're going to create a simple cube. We're going to pull that up and hit 5 for shaded mode. And we're going to set our translate values to 0. So it's nice and centered. And then we're going to hit Control D, hit W, and move it over. We're going to take our original cube, double click up here. So we are accessing our layers. We're going to select a new layer. And we're going to call that one original. Okay. And hit save. Then we're going to select the next guy. New layer. Double click on that. And we'll call that one duplicate. And save. Okay. So now that we've got these two layers going on, we're going to take our original and we're going to give that a quick texture. Okay. So I'm going to right click, go to face, select my top face, right click again, assign new material. Let's go with a simple Lambert. We're going to hit our checkered box, go to file, folder, and I got a couple of files here. We'll do steel, hit our checkered cube up here so you can see it. There we go. We will select the outer faces, right click, assign new material, again, Lambert, checkered box, file, folder, uh, let's use that one, leaf, that's fine, and we'll select the bottom, right click, assign new material, Lambert, checkered box, file, folder, and I don't know, carpet. All right. And there we go. So our original object is uh, textured. It's not properly UV'd, but that's fine for now. Okay. So that's our object. And we are going to transfer this information over to our duplicate. Before we do that, if we select our object here and we go into our tabs here. We'll just rename this. We'll call that one leaf. We'll call that one steel. And that one we'll call carpet. Okay. All right. So now that we've got that, we're going to take our duplicate and we are going to set the translate values to zero to make sure that these two are exactly the same location. All right. Then we're going to go to our rendering uh, drop down menu, lighting and shading. I'm going to transfer maps. OK. Now, what's the deal here? And I'll just uh, close a couple of these menus. We need to specify a target mesh and a source mesh. So the target is where our texturing information is going towards, and it's going towards our duplicate object, right? So we are just going to go over to our layers. We are going to select our duplicate because that's our target. Right click and select objects. And there we go, polycube shape two. Then we're gonna go to our source mesh which is our original, of course. Left click on that, right click, select objects, add selected. 
So polycube shape 2 is our target, poly shape cube 1 is our source. Okay, let's go down here. We're going to select diffuse, which will give us some options here. This is the location for the uh, target file, and I'm just going to change that. I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'll call that uh, diffuse duplicate as a JPEG. That's fine. We're going to save that. <laughs> I spelled it wrong, but OK. Uh, we can leave that in JPEG. That's fine. We're going to go to connect output mesh. We're going to leave that, so connect maps to shader, that's OK, a new shader. Go down to Maya. Here I'm going to increase the size of my file to 2048. And here the same. We're going to leave that in a world space. For the diffuse map, uh, the low quality is fine. We're going to leave all that, and we're going to hit bake and close which starts the baking process. Not quite sure how long this is going to take, so I'm just going to pause the video and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. All right, so that's done. Now we're going to select our object and we're going to move that over. And as you can see, both objects are now fully textured. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to get rid of the original texture files. So first I'm going to save this scene so file, save scene as, and I'll just call them uh, two cubes and just save it on my desktop. That's fine. All right. So we've got the steel, the leaves, and the carpet. So I'm going to minimize this. And we're going to take the leaf, the steel, and the carpet, and we're going to delete those. Okay, we're going to go back to Maya, and I think I saved this scene. Yes, I did. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to click on Open Scene, which will automatically close this one, and I'm going to select two cubes and hit Open. Now, what happened here is this is our original cube, right? And it lost all texturing information because it lost uh, the, uh, actually, we've got one going on down there. Okay, it's probably a little glitch. It's not even one of the files we selected. Anyway, oh, that's our standard Lambert, Never mind. Uh, so this guy is all white, right? Um, the reason why that is, is it's retrieving its information from the 2D files that we use, and they're normally in your images uh, tab in your Maya directory. Uh, that information is gone and therefore the texture is gone. Now what Maya did is it created one new file, a, a Lambert shader, and added all the information for the steel leaves and so forth. Right? So if you go to control A, you see that you got one material applied to it. So if I open this file, I don't need to have any external files anymore. Now, that's the whole idea of this tutorial. So, that's it. Uh, hopefully, this was helpful for you guys. If you've got any questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.